Welcome back to Askewed Reviews. And if you have any movies you'd like to see get one of our reviews, go ahead and put that suggestion down in the comments. But for today, we are doing the 2023 comedy thriller, Cocaine Bear. Here is your trivia question for today. What is the nickname of the actual Cocaine Bear? The answer will be at the end of this video. Technically, this movie's story does come from part of the story of the book The Bluegrass Conspiracy, although to be more accurate, it comes from a true life event where it's been spun off to be a bit more crazy. So here's the real story. In 1985, a drug smuggler dropped 40 kilos of cocaine, which back then was about $20 million and today would be about $55 million. The drugs made it down fine. The drug smuggler, not so much. Now, a black bear stumbles upon these drugs, proceeds to eat them, and in real life, died in about 10 minutes from cerebral hemorrhaging, heart failure, and lung failure. But in this story, they decide to go the route of, what if the bear survived, did a bunch of drugs, and went on a rampage? One thing that I definitely found fascinating with this film is that there's no clear main character. You've got a mom and some kids, You've got a park ranger and a person who works for the parks department. You've got some criminals, including drug smugglers and just basic criminals. You've also got the police. You've got some EMTs and some people who are just generally camping. And then, of course, we can't forget Cocaine Bear. For those of you who watched the TV show The Americans, you noticed that there was a bit of a small reunion as Carrie Russell, Matthew Reese, and Margot Martindale all appear in this movie. Now, in real life, Carrie Russell and Matthew Reese are actually married. And while Carrie Reese was reading the script for Cocaine Bear, she handed it over to Matthew, who looked it over, turned to her and said, Hey, can you ask the director if I can be the guy who dies right at the beginning? And thus, Matthew got to be the drug dealer from the beginning of the movie. Quite a few of the actors from this movie have appeared in the Star Wars universe. Carrie Russell was in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Alden Ehrenreich was in Solo, A Star Wars Story and O'Shea Jackson Jr. was in the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. There are also two other cameos you may not have noticed in this movie. Christopher Hivyu, who appeared as Tormund in Game of Thrones, plays Olaf the Camper, and Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who plays Mitchell on Modern Family, plays Peter. Also, if you didn't know, the movie is directed by Elizabeth Banks. Ray Liotta, who I'm certain had a blast making this movie, unfortunately passed away after re-recording some lines to finish out the dialogue for this movie. Cocaine Bear is a hell of a movie and a must watch in my opinion. It'll make you laugh out loud, it'll make you squirm from the visceral violence, and it's an adrenaline pumping cocaine fueled thrill ride. I'm gonna give Cocaine Bear a four out of five. As for the trivia question from the beginning of the video, what is the nickname of the actual Cocaine Bear? His nickname is Pablo Escobar, and he can be found in Lexington, Kentucky in the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall, where he is stuffed and dressed up usually for different occasions. Please check out our other skewed reviews, and as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe.